Hey, hello everybody. Um, I didn't make a video of the bay leaves when I took them, when I cut them off the tree and then put them in the soil. I didn't make a video of that. Sorry, I forgot. Oops. But I'm going to try these over here and I'm just putting these in water. Okay. Now, I looked up a video on YouTube of what to do to... Um, you know to reproduce uh, plants with roots and they suggested that in the summer they said cut the ones that are brand new and uh, cut the leaves just on the top like this uh, I guess this way it doesn't need a lot of water I guess I don't know I don't know why first of all to cut them in the summer is kind of I don't know that's kind of weird I always thought you did this kind of stuff in the winter I don't know I mean you know so I'm just gonna leave some leaves on here and I'm gonna cut those so like I said so it doesn't need a lot of water and uh, we'll see what happens I don't know I've never done it before All right, as you can see, there's not much left. Just a stick. You know, a lot of stuff in Florida, though, it, uh, a lot of the times you can just cut something and stick it in the ground and it'll grow. I guess I'll dry these big ones out and use those. All right, so there you go. Not much left. I'm just gonna stick those in water, and we'll check them out. What what happens? Here's the ones I did yesterday, and I put them in dirt. Now the ones with the white sticker are hormone. It's not actually a powder; it's a gel. So I dip those in hormone gel. And stuck them in the dirt they look terrible uh, that one there these two in the white they're uh, they're the hormone too hormone gel the right these other three are just branches I cut off and just stuck in the dirt now all I have to do is keep the dirt moist and uh, it should be good good to go all right, now, here's what I want to do now. And I put one of these, uh... Hold on. Okay. I, uh, I put one of uh, the filters that you put under your sink, you know, for your water. First of all, we have really hard water here. I mean, our water is hard, man. Uh, I don't know if that's good or bad, but it is. But anyway, the um, they put so much chlorine in the water that you can actually smell it. I mean, you know, a lot. Uh, you can't smell it in the hot water as much. I guess a lot of it gets boiled away in the in the tank. You know, the heater, not boiled away, but it, it probably changes the chlorine. Uh, so the hot water is not as bad, but the cold water, oh man, I mean it, it really smells. So what I did was I took a, I went to, uh, no, I got it from Amazon, matter of fact. I put in a under the sink filter. And what it is, it's this thing. Okay, and uh, uh, all you do is you take your cold you, you shut your cold water off from under the sink you take the hose off the one that goes to the faucet and there's a there's a thing that hangs on the cabinet inside you know under the sink and it has two has two nubs okay one you take the water from the source, you know, the water that's coming from your pipes. You take that hose and you 
hook it up to one side of this thing and then the other side you take a hose which the thing comes with the hose and you put that up into your sink all right so now what you have is all the water going through to your uh, cold water is filtered all right now they claim the lifetime is 12 months for this or 18,000 gallons well I gotta tell you it lasted 12 months easily in fact I didn't change it until July I put it in in June I didn't change it till July and I still probably could have went further uh, but I changed it all right so now I want to cut this thing open and see what is in it all right so I'm hoping that my Dremel will cut through it if not if not I'm gonna need a different tool all right here we go Okay, here it comes. All right, that's that's all just empty. That's the cylinder, you know, the part that it sits in. And this is the inside. Now I know there's some kind of powder in here because when you first turn it on, it. Uh, you know, it recommends you let it run for a couple, three, four minutes because um, uh, this white powder is coming out with the water. So there's something else in here besides, besides that. These are a bunch of little beads. And this black stuff. That looks like the filter itself, whatever this is. Charcoal, maybe. Some kind of charcoal. Maybe. I don't know, but. The water probably does go through here. And these little beads are probably in there to bounce around when the water is coming through so that any particles in the water can't clog up the inside of this thing. I'll bet you that's what those beads are doing. You know, they're bouncing around in here as the water is on. And I would bet the reason is so that they bounce around as the water is running and it prevents any little particles getting in this filter here to get, plug, uh, get plugged up. I'll bet you that's what it is. I'm not sure, but I would bet money on it. So that's it. Water comes in here. It bounces around, and as it comes out, it's coming out of, of this, uh, this mesh. You can see it looks like a net, real fine net. Yep. 
and this black stuff is filtering the water. I guarantee you that's what's going on. This black stuff here filters the water. This is not plastic. It's probably charcoal. And why this is here, I don't know. But anyway, the water comes in here, goes through the thing here, and it fills up in the chamber. And then the it just goes up the sides of the tr of the uh, of the cylinder, and it comes out here. So now we know. I'll tell you what. I'm 100% satisfied with this thing. This thing is very nice. It really is. Now, like I said, it it, it says uh, 8,000 gallons. So if you got a family of five. <laughs> 8,000 gallons, it's not going to last you a year. I can guarantee you that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I have mine on the cold water in the kitchen. And I use cold water for coffee, uh, for cooking, you know, boiling pasta or something. Um, and that's about it. I don't use any cold water at all for washing dishes. Um, none I just use hot and you and if the water's too hot you can always change it you, you can change the uh, the uh, the water heater you know that tank there's a little thermostat thing on there you need a screwdriver you can you can turn it down I, I forget what mine is at I don't know probably I don't know 110 maybe I mean it gets hot but don't get me wrong but you know it's not impossible hot you know so anyway, I've, how much was this? Uh, man, I wish I could remember. I think, I think it was like I don't know, forty bucks, maybe sixty bucks. And the filters are twenty, but again, I only need them once a year, so twenty bucks, you know, that's nothing. You can see this black stuff here is porous. You can see it. I mean, maybe you can't, but I can. Whoops. They went them beads. All right. I'm out of here. I got to go. I got to eat.